play this one. <laughs> Who am I? I'm not the barometer for that. And now we're going to go right into it. Smashville, Gen versus Stock uh, I don't know. Do you see this match plot? I feel like... So, this matchup's weird because it doesn't happen often at any particular level of play. And even in New York, we don't get a chance to see it too often. That being said, Villager has a lot of the tools to annoy Ryu, keep him at bay. But once uh, Villager's at, like, above 80%, it's a real slow burn because at that point everything Jen has can lead into a kill setup. I, I would, I would I'd probably guess Jen just walking around fishing for like an up tilt or something, and then Village is trying to like pelt him with these very very small. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of the pellet play from forward and back air from stock, and even besides up tilt, uh, Nair putting in a good amount of work. Uh, even Rush Shorty who can spell danger for Stock just because he's going to be in the air a lot. He has a lot more of an opportunity to get caught out by wow, Shoryu. He, he just kicked that tree away? That just... Yo, I always love that. Like, the, the tree the tree just wilts away in sorrow. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I like these cancels from Jen. Oh, up smash rage? Oh. You know, I was fully expecting Jen to mash Shoryu. Oh yeah, jump Shoryu. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's the thing that Ryu has been doing lately. Like, people have been... SDIing a lot better these days, and they've been catching the SDI up with Jump Shory, which still kills at a pretty reasonable percent, so it's like a very good option to go for. Especially when you know that your opponent's going to want to try and jump out of danger, it's a really good call-out option. Yeah. Because even the Sour Spot's going to help reset to neutral. Yeah. Like, the one counterplay that you two could have that instead wow, why would you? Okay, that was definitely an accident. He definitely probably tried to jump back on ledge. <laughs> But um, one of the counter plays you could do to that is uh, try to SDI through Ryu instead of up and away. Because then that mixes up what he's trying to do. But then that's just a guessing game in itself. But, um, even, we're pretty much like even-ish for sense. Yeah, it's a good amount of even. If Stock can make sure that he keeps the Axe alive though, he'll always have a reversal option on Jen. Because Axe actually has two hits. If he times it well enough, then he can go right through focus with it. Yeah, Jen has that weird habit sometimes of going a lot for a lot of grabs. Like, I know, like, Ryu's these days have been saying he's kind of like a, a pseudo grappler, which I understand at, like, early percents, but, like, man, like, don't fish for grabs against characters like this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, here's, here's the slow part of the map. It's going to be a whole lot of stock. Trying to run away, just get on the bits and pieces of damage while trying to avoid trades with Jen. Stop grabbing. What are you doing? You're going to kill yourself. He's legitimately just going to die because he's doing it. He's going to do Shory with Ledge. Oh, man, you should have done it. <laughs> oh, a little bit of water. Yeah. If he believed, he could have broken shield there, but he didn't need it. Stock yeah. take advantage yeah. to take game one. Yeah, I don't know why. It was really weird because during the whole, during the whole game, uh, it was like you said, it was kind of like a slow burn. But at later percents, for some reason, Jen just started getting antsy. He just kept swinging at him. He's got to remember that Ryu hits like a truck. He doesn't have to get antsy. Yeah, it was kind of unprovoked, to be honest. And he kind of threw away his first stock, too. So it was really strange play down the stretch from Jen. But um, good capitalization by Stock Ticker, though. <laughs> Run back to Smash was a pretty smart choice. Yeah, there, I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with that stage. There's just a couple of misplays here and there. So something that could be easily corrected. Yeah, double jabs are going to stuff out that uh, focus. That's, that's one of the cruxes of this matchup, is that Villager has a lot of tools that can quickly get around focus. So it's not as viable of a movement option or a uh, offensive option for Ryu. Wow, okay. double jab into throwing your Hadouken back at you. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, so Jen caught on to that. So basically, all, all Stock Taker was doing, he tries to set up for the tree, and he tries to bait Jen into doing that, and that time he didn't take the bait. He didn't go for a grab this time. <laughs> he just ran up and punched him, like, you're the punchy character, not DK. As soon as he was out of that 80% threshold, Stock was in the danger zone immediately. But. Yeah, getting antsy again. He was just jumping in. Uh, Ryu with that slow aerial aerial acceleration. He just got hit by the axe. Like good call out by Stock Taker. Yeah, don't go down there. Okay. Yeah. So like, it's just like one thing I'm noticing right now is just after after that whole he's playing a lot around the axe right now. 
stock taker. Like, you think he's just biding his time until you could set up his camp just so he could get that his win condition. Yeah. Out of the New York villagers, he's definitely the most axe heavy of them, and he uses it, at least in my opinion, the most effectively, because he sees that as a really quick reversal option. You know, it really is. Yeah. I mean, I feel like he's the best villager to try to stick easy, but, I mean, like, it is a great reversal option. He's really strong, and did he just try to focus through both of those? Weird, stock taker. I was about to say weird. Stock taker didn't go for that um, tree plant. And what are you doing? Weird. Jen's respecting a lot of space for stock taker. While uh, he can't reverse onto him as much, I feel like he shouldn't be giving him that much room to breathe. I feel like right now he's running into a lot of things right now, unnecessarily, because he literally just that was uh, yeah. Yeah, he got cooked. Yeah, that was weird because he literally ate fifty percent just from running into him trying to hit him with a button. When in reality, during the whole set, he, he controlled that whole set pretty much. And he just, Stocker just capitalized off of his aggression. It was really, 